Okay. So to solve this, guys, the difference two squares, right? We need to write this as a product. It says factor. Write it as a product. Well, the best thing I can relate to this is remembering multiplying x plus 2 times x minus 2. When we do those special factors, we notice that our middle terms always cancel out. So we really just need to multiply the first two terms and the last two terms, right? Well, here, we use what we're going to do is we're trying to work backwards. We're trying to take a binomial and rewrite it as the product of something. Well, here, I first try to see, is there something I can factor out? And no. Um, there's nothing they share. However, I want to say, all right, how can I rewrite this? Well, you can use the difference of two squares. And the difference of two squares says, if you have a number squared minus another number squared, you can write that as the product of two binomials in the form of a minus b and a plus b. So my whole goal is to see, can I rewrite 64y squared as a square number. Can 64 be written as a square number? Yeah. Which square number? Eight squared, right? And y can obviously be written as y squared. <laughs> Minus, can seven be written as a square number? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> four and can 49 be written as a, y, as a, as a square number? Yeah. Seven. Yeah. So I'm just gonna combine these together. Eight y squared, still not gonna get, still the same answer. So I have 8y squared minus 7y. Now you guys see what you can do? So I can say this is my a and this is my b. So just write them as your two binomials. 8y minus 7 times 8y plus 7. That's a horrible plus. That's it, and that's it. Huh? That's it.